Hi everyone, my name is Raj I'm a year 3 student currently pursuing a diploma in Biomedical Science from the School of Life Sciences and Chemical Technology. Being in Biomedical Science, my most favourite part of this course is actually the amount of hands-on learning opportunities that I actually get. Just being a kinesthetic learner myself, I actually appreciate these learning opportunities a little bit more than just the lectures and tutorials. So what's a day like in Biomedical Science? I usually start my day with either lectures or tutorials and I end my day with practical sessions that ranges from about 3 to 4 hours. And in these practical sessions, sometimes I even get to carry out my own experiments and test out my own hypothesis. So eventually what it means is that you don't really get to carry out experiments, you get to carry out your own experiments. So what made me choose Biomedical Science in Yan Poly was growing up, I actually had a lot of healthcare professionals in my family. So eventually I became very, very interested in the field as well. Uh, but I wanted to do something different than just the usual nursing, medicine, pharmacy. So when I did my research, I found a whole new world of scientific research, uh, medical technology solutions, allied health for example. So when I did my further research for courses that related me to these pathways, uh, I found Biomedical Science in Niampoli and the way they delivered the course really captivated me. So eventually I chose this course. Coming with an open mind, this is because um, you don't only get to learn the modules related to biomedical, you learn much much more than that in the three years. You learn chemistry, you learn uh, mathematics, you learn statistics, so it's always better for you to come with an open mind to accept all this new information and knowledge. So what are the types of internship opportunities that was offered to me? Because as a year 3 student, usually students will get to go for their internship and I was actually quite surprised to find out that my course did not only offer positions in the research field, they offered positions for example in customer service for healthcare products and even medical technology positions in hospitals and this was really surprising for me because I find it very comforting that uh, students can actually choose internship positions that play more for their strengths so that eventually they get to do better in their internship and get more valuable experience as well. I really really want to be a medical technologist in a uh, hospital in Singapore to really help people to you know, do blood tests, uh, phlebotomy skills, so on and so forth. What's my biggest takeaway from Nyan Poly would be to really take every opportunity that comes in your way, never be afraid and always be yourself. Because Polytechnic is where you really really will receive a lot of opportunities, be it overseas trips, be it project work. Uh, roles and so on and so forth. So it's always important for you to not be afraid and just snap every information that you can. Hi, my name is Mohamed Kashul Azim. I'm a year 3 student currently pursuing a diploma in chemical and biomolecular engineering from the School of Life Sciences and Chemical Technology. What's one thing I love about my course? Okay, well most definitely I like to learn about how atoms interact with each other on a molecular level. That's very interesting. What's a day in a life as a CVE student like? Okay, so basically in Polytechnic, we have three types of lessons. First is a lecture, so where we learn about a certain concept or we learn about a certain formula that we're about to use. And then we have tutorials. Tutorials is where we practice those concepts or formulas. And then lastly, we have the practical sessions. So for modules that have a practical session, we learn, uh, we take what we learn from the uh, lectures and tutorials and we put it all together and we apply it in real life in the lab sessions. So that's how we uh, go about our day. What's a tip I find most useful for students entering our course? Okay, for students entering CBE, I guess the most interesting tip or the best tip I can give is to uh, find YouTube videos or find uh, interesting youtubers that explain your concept uh, in a more entertaining manner so for example I was learning a laminar flow and turbulent flow and I found a YouTube video that explained that very well and uh, in a playful manner they fight or they thought how uh, laminar is better than turbulent or turbulent is better than laminar uh, so YouTube videos really make it fun for me what's one thing I wish I knew before joining CU okay obviously is that I'll be doing more chemistry than uh, sorry, doing more physics than chemistry uh, because as the name is like chemical and biomolecular engineering, there's no mention of physics, so I was quite shocked when I learned uh, physics was the main part of the course. Okay, my course actually prepared me uh, very well for my internship, so I was offered an internship position at uh, Sherwin Williams. So during my internship, I had to basically uh, work to shorten the manufacturing time for a certain product from this company, 
and the course uh, gave me the certain lab practices that uh, were very useful in, in my case, such as the safety, you know, always wearing your safety goggles in the lab, always wearing safety shoes in the lab, blah blah, these kind of things uh, is a habit that I picked up at school. Okay, biggest takeaway from NP has to be obviously friends that I've made over my CCA. Uh, I've made friends from everywhere, of course, and the memories that I've made with them are very uh, meaningful to me. And for my course, I would say that, uh, the again, the safety habits that I learned for in the lab is really, really useful. So in the industry itself, or in the working life, sometimes they don't practice the safe lab habits. But uh, I'm very glad that I know the basics of safety protocols in laboratories. Of course, I would like to say that if you are interested in physics and chemistry, and this is really the cause for you. But um, remember to always keep your passion high and never falter in the face of difficulty. Hi, my name is Jana and I'm from Environmental and Water Technology. I am in Year 3. What's one thing I love about my course? Well, definitely my lecturers. They are so nice and so welcoming towards me and I can go to them with regards to anything, be it school or personal matters. Secondly, I think the reason why I really love my course is because it is very relatable to my daily life. Even simple things like drinking water, it makes me reflect on the long process that the water has gone through to reach me. So it teaches me to be very grateful for the water source that I have today. Just like every other student, EWT students are early risers. We have classes at 8am and 9am. But for some modules, we are fortunate enough to have fully remote learning. Which means we do learning at our own pace and our own time. And that also shapes us into becoming independent learners. What's a tip I find most useful for students entering EWT? Play hard and work hard. I always ensure myself that I have enough rest but also I study enough to score well for my semesters. The internship opportunities offered were of a large spectrum from in-house internships to internships over at St. John's Island. The internship opportunities varies from water testing to membrane technology. Currently, I am interning in Machu, a place where they provide water testing for clients such as PUB and NEA. My future aspiration is to further my study in environmental studies in a local university. However, right after graduation, I am planning to continue working in the company that I'm currently working in so that I can gain more experience. Hi, my name is Amelia. I'm currently a year two student studying in the course Landscape Design and Horticulture. One thing I love about my course is the range of modules you get to learn. From your science-based modules such as plant anatomy and morphology, plant pathology and entomology, to your design-based modules which teaches you the processes of designing a landscape area such as landscape design fundamentals. A day in the life of an LDH student consists of both design and science modules. For your design modules, we usually use software such as AutoCAD and Photoshop. AutoCAD is used to plan and draft our designs, while Photoshop is used to digitally render our work. You can often see LDH students hang back in school as well at the light box, where it is equipped with light boxes that help students trace their design work. We also have practical lessons at the lab at least once a week. Something unique to LDH as well is that we have classes at Clementi Woods Park. So, at Clementi Woods Park, we are able to gain a more hands-on experience in certain modules such as horticulture and growth management, where we are given the opportunity to maintain the landscape area there. The tip I find useful for students who are interested in joining this course is to be consistent in your work and manage your time well, as you will have to juggle between your design projects and studying for your tests or exams for your science modules. Something I wish I knew before joining this course was actually knowing that both your design and science modules actually are interconnected. 
So this is because you can use knowledge from your science modules and apply it into your design modules. So for example, uh, when you're choosing a plant for a landscape area, you should consider the plant's growing requirements and growing habits, which is something that you cover in your science modules. My biggest takeaway from NP and LDH is all the unique experiences it has presented to me. So to me, LDH is not only a course about studying and theory, but it is also a course about experiencing and presenting to you future possibilities. So through lab work, practicals, field trips and more, LDH really provides a very holistic curriculum. And though it may be tough at times, I still enjoy my time in this course through all the experiences and activities that I have gone through. My immediate plans after graduating is definitely to further my studies in the areas of environment or plant science. And for future aspirations, I am definitely keen in exploring work in Singapore's landscape or agricultural industry. Something I would like to say to those who are interested in joining LDH is that LDH is a very interesting course in which you get to learn a variety of things but it may also be the same reason why you tire easily and it is most definitely a work hard play hard course in which you need to put in a lot of effort throughout the semester to complete all your tasks but during the holidays you can definitely enjoy all your free time Hello everyone, my name is Lily. I'm a year one student currently pursuing a diploma in pharmaceutical sciences from the School of Life Sciences and Chemical Technology. I love how I actually can get to learn more about medicines and how they actually get to cure different diseases and how medicines will work in our body to cure our disease. It can be a little bit stressful but don't worry because your peers and lecturers will always be there to help you throughout. I actually have my favourite module and it's actually Fundamentals in Pharmaceutical Science because it provides us the foundation and what to expect when you're going out into the workforce. So you'll be able to know what you're going to do at least and get some hands-on activity. It's actually one of the most hands-on modules so it makes me even more excited and more interested to learn more about this module as I actually get to learn many many things and it gives me a brief overview of what I'll be learning in my course for the next three years. So I actually chose pharmaceutical science because I've been very interested to learn more about medicines and I've also been very interested in the healthcare sector and I've always been wanting to work in a hospital to help people because it's my passion, I like to help people. Since I have a passion in medicines, I also decided to join pharmaceutical science as I've also actually attended AAM for that before. And I chose Nia because I love the culture here. It's very inclusive and it's very nice because I know that whenever I need help, there will always be people that I can turn into so I decided to choose farm in Nia. It is actually consistency. Always be consistent in everything you do, especially for all the homeworks that you produce. And never ever procrastinate and do last minute work because you will not have enough time for yourself, not enough time for rest, and not enough time to spend with your family and friends. So consistency is very important and make sure you keep it up. I wish I knew exactly what I would be learning in farm science because I always thought I would just come in and learn about medicine straight. But no, you're gonna learn more than that you're actually learning about like organic care and biology even though you still learn mainly about medicines and you also learn about how different medicines can help to treat different body systems. Study hard and don't throw away your biology, chemistry and AMF textbook if you took them before because it will actually help you throughout your time in pharmaceutical science. But if you don't, don't worry because MP provides bridging course for all students and your lecturers will also be there to help you out if you're unsure of anything and they will actually do whatever it takes for them to make sure that you understand everything. So don't worry too much and you can do this. All the best and good luck.